What do you make of the rumours that Israel Folau is making a comeback to rugby and heading to Toulon? Go on, Zeebs. Let you say this one. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Zeebs, would you be up for sharing the field with him after all of the deeply homophobic comments he's made? Well, not on the same team. Definitely not. No, would you share a field? If, well, if, he, if he's playing opposite me, yeah, there's nothing I can do. You know, I wouldn't let my team down by not playing. But... Um, I, uh, yeah, I have no time for that. No time for any of his thoughts or, or things like that. Um, I think it's unbelievably backwards type of mentality. I think, um, yeah, I think it's such a shame. Like, such a such a talented guy. Like, really, really good player. But, um, you know, I, I personally, this is just what I think now. A lot of people might think differently, but I'd have a serious issue with that. Um, you know, there's racism, there's homophobia. Like they, these are things that I hold on the same playing field. Like you know, and if I have, I have three kids now, and if all three of them decided to be gay when they grow up, me and him are going to have like serious issues. You know, because they probably having a father who plays rugby, they'll know about Israel for out, and they'll see all these things. You know, the way social media is in this day and age, and they like what it could do to to people internally how we can brainwash them into you know these negative things you know basically saying you're going to hell if you're gay and all this stuff i i have no time for it and i think it does way more harm than any good that he kind of sees that he's trying to do i think you know um there's too many people out there that uh, have issues with coming out and all these things and there's people in our game like nigel owens who would be way more um i suppose way more of a global figure to our game than uh, someone like Israel Folau, you know? So I'd 100% be, you know, not against him playing, you know, like he's able to do whatever he can do, you know, he probably has most to feed, but, um, you know, for Toulon and these clubs to be linked with him, it's not a good look for those clubs either because they're kind of endorsing his beliefs then by saying, oh, come play with us, you know, share change rooms with these guys. And what if one of those guys, you know, is gay or have gay children or X, Y, and Z, I just, I've no time for him whatsoever. I don't know him personally, but if you're spreading that kind of hate on the internet the whole time, I have no time for you. That's Ryan, point. what about you? What do you Catlin, think about this? Catlin Dragons have sort of made it okay, haven't they? They've like, because mm. when was it? 2019? What are we in now? 2021, bloody hell. But 2019, and Catlin Dragons signed him. I, like, they've almost made it okay. And you've got teams now going, you've got Toulon and Montpellier, Going well, if he's playing for them, why can't he play for us? But mm. no, exactly the same. Like I love the thing with Catalan Dragons going to play someone Manchester way. I don't really follow too much of the league stuff. And did you see they turned their uh, stadium into like a pride festival? Oh, go away, <laughs> did they? Brilliant. I didn't see that. <laughs> they found out that he was coming to play, and like they, I mean, like, there was uproar in the uh, in the league stuff and in their league and I know that that yeah one of the Manchester sides I can't remember Huddersfield or someone like that they said we're going to have a pride festival for when he comes which I think how good is that like, that's amazing yeah. but that's the problem they've made it okay and it's not is it and it's not okay and like you said you put it on the same level as racism because yeah, it, yeah. It, it, that's what it is like oh man and I just think it's worse for people like the younger generation who will grow up through social media who will idolise this guy back you know, everywhere, like, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, but you imagine being a teenager or what and struggling mentally to decide, oh, can I come out to my friends? And, you know, you have other friends who idolize him and they're like, oh, is he this? Is he that? And your man's just showing all this hate and saying, you're going to hell. You need to repent for all your sins. And they're like, this is who I am. Like, I'm a bad. And then, you know, it filters. I'm a bad person. What am I doing? You know, that's there's a lot darker stuff happens. I think as a result of what he's doing, and I have zero time for him, zero talents for him. I wouldn't shake his hand, to be honest. I, 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 get, I get angry when I think about these things. Uh, I hold that at the same level as racism, so uh, zero time for him. Ryan, I know your kids, are your kids a little bit older than Zebos? So like, did your kids potentially, when all of this was happening, did any of them pick up on the media stuff about when it was at the forefront? Oh no, no, they haven't got a clue about any of that stuff there eight, six and four. So to be honest, we don't let them near anything. Like we've, we've our eight year old daughters desperate to get on TikTok and we're even like 
trying to hold her back from that because you get lost in some of that shit. I know, yeah. I know you love it, Zebes. And yeah. yeah, with all that social media stuff, like we try and completely keep them off it. And it's just how long can you keep them off it for? Because all our mates, eight years old, and all our mates at school were, oh, TikTok this and, and getting on social media. Like the longer I can keep the kids off, I don't know what you like with your your ones. Zeds, yours are a bit younger, but yeah, so even fun. YouTube, they can get lost in that black hole. It's like, where are you going with it? Mm-hmm. You know. Um, so yeah, no, they didn't they didn't see anything of it. But exactly like you said, you know, we kids growing up watching this sport, idolizing for Lau, What does it say to them? You know? Yeah, uh, yeah, so bad. Uh, so yeah, whatever, whatever about him and his you know, Stone Age ideas. Um, Yeah, I think it's a bad look for the club, whoever goes, you know, selling their soul, I suppose, to try and get a bit of success, you know, because, um, yeah, it's, it's, they're ultimately endorsing his beliefs and they're saying it's okay, you know, it's just like racism and it's right there beside it. So just like I wouldn't shake my hand with a racist, it's the, it's the exact same thing, you know. It's, it's going to cause fractures wherever you go. Yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah. cause massive fractures, and that's always a, a massive worry in a team environment as well. You know, you want that culture and everyone buying into the same thing. When you've got someone pulling in a complete opposite direction, mm-hmm. it's going to cause mayhem in a club as well. So, but too long, they're up to all sorts, aren't they? Yeah. Good luck to them.